Let's talk about something here real quick. and welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are all doing well so in today's video we're gonna be talking about a very specific brand a lot of the snaps that you guys have been sending me lately have been questions about this particular brand should you purchase from it should you not have I purchased from them what do I think of them so when you guys asked me about it I was like you know what I'm just gonna make a video I usually don't make like a brand specific video but I was like a lot of you guys are asking me about it I'm just gonna make a video because I do have an opinion about this and I will Tell you guys my opinion so the brand I'm gonna be talking to you guys about today is the brand Morphe um, I'm a very fair person when it comes to makeup brand if I don't like a brand because of a few of their products I would still purchase from a brand because I feel like every brand has something good and something bad in their product line it's just the way it is and maybe it's not a bad product it's just something that doesn't work out for you um, there's lots of brands that I use that I don't like half of their products but I do like the other half of their products and I'm sure there's somebody out there who likes the other half that I don't like so I like to be very fair with brands because not everything is gonna work for me and I totally get that now there are a few brands out there that I will not purchase from and those are completely for personal reasons they have done something that's either offended me or they have bad business practices or things like that so what really made me want to do this video is because as I was browsing through YouTube I saw two types of videos I mean the main I mean a lot of people talk about this but I saw two types of main videos that were getting a lot of views they were either from the influencers and youtubers that talk very 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 highly of this brand and then the opposite were gossip channels talking very very negative of this brand and I'm like I don't trust either one as a consumer as a buyer as somebody who spends your money on product always always do your own research before you go out there and spend the money on a product how I do my own research is I read the reviews not the not just the YouTube reviews I go and actually like Google and search reviews and things like that I get different opinions another thing that I do which is just like a me thing I come on YouTube and I look for a review of somebody who has another job if that makes sense I like the big youtubers and some of them I trust some of them I don't but when I really want an honest review of something I go to a smaller channel so I say that to say please do your research before you purchase anything from any brand but like I was saying there was two types of reviews on this brand the really 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 positive ones the really 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 negative ones so I feel like the gossip channels are mostly negative like that's how they get their views they have to talk about something and they have to have teas and they have to have this and they have to have pizzazz and that and I feel like sometimes they over they're overly negative about something that they don't really need to be about because that's how they get their views on YouTube you know what I mean and then there's the people who are overly raving about it and you never hear anything negative so I just feel like they needed to be like a person that's right in the middle like I said again I'm sure somebody out there has made a video like this but I felt a responsibility to my subscribers who were asking me about it to be fair and let you know what I think I started purchasing for Morphe about three years ago and I purchased little bits and bobs here and there I no longer purchase from Morphe and we're gonna get into that a little bit down the line in this video but yeah I heard about it over social media it was huge a lot of people were talking about it and the brushes were inexpensive I mean you couldn't beat it like the prices were great somebody like me who has spent 30 40 even 50 dollars on a brush sometime it was refreshing and nice to see a brand that looked like it was good quality but that was selling us brushes at 4.99 3.99 7.99 8.99 you know just those prices were really nice to see so I did start making some purchases. I mostly purchased eye brushes from them when I first started. As I was using the eye brushes, I never had an issue with them. I still use them to this day. They are great. I have no complaint with the eye brushes. Now let's fast forward to when they started their uh, subscription box program thing. Um, so you paid a certain amount of money a month. I want to say like it was $19.99. It was something super reasonable. And every month they sent you out four or five brushes I want to say um, so I thought that was a great deal so when they came out with it I immediately signed up and I think I received three or four packages from them and then I canceled the membership so when I received those subscription boxes I received some eye but most of the brushes were face brushes my issue with them was with the face brushes I think the face brushes need 
more work I don't know if they were just cheapening the product because we were getting it in a subscription and it was mass produced and they had to give out so much and I know sometimes people say oh there's a couple of defects here and there but this is something that I've seen along the lines of their face brushes it's happened to almost every face brush that I've gotten from Morphe so when I got my first or second box I received this brush right here which is the Morphe M439 this is what it looks like I really did like this brush it blended out my foundation so so well flawlessly excuse the fact that it's super dirty I have used it because I spent my money on it so I'm gonna use it but I want to say maybe three or four days after I received the brush this happened so it completely came unglued it was completely done I was like okay maybe it's a defect from the brush so I contacted them I sent them a picture of the brush and I was like hey the brush came unglued can I get another one on my money back like However you guys want to do it, but um, yeah, the brush doesn't work anymore. So they sent me another one, and this is the other one. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but it moves. Like, the brush moves. I, I want to say at least five days after I got it, it started that whole moving thing again. And I was like, you know what, maybe it's just that particular brush. Maybe that brush been through some things, and it can't keep it together literally so i was like you know what i like the other ones let's try the other ones so i got this brush and yes it is sad looking right now look 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 at this um partly my fault partly the bristles so i got this brush and i really liked it to kind of put powder all over my face but again you hear that it is coming unglued now the reason why the bristles look like this is because I washed the brush and I guess I laid it on an odd angle and um, the bristle just kind of took that shape and they wouldn't come back to normal which is weird because I have a lot of other brushes um, that I wash and they can look like this but once you wash them again the bristles come back to normal I've washed this one several times the bristles are just gonna stay wonky like that like it's just it's just how they're gonna be the only face brush that I've gotten from Morphe that has not done that to me that the, the ferrule hasn't come undone is going to be this one right here this is the morphe m527 this is what it looks like this is my favorite bronzer brush i love this to apply bronzer with it's the only one that you can it has nothing has happened to it and it's still on there and it might be because i just started wearing it for bronzer maybe like what a month ago before that i wasn't using it so the jury is still out on if this one is actually going to last so that basically shows you what has happened to my personal brushes that i bought with my own money that did not send this to me for free to be very fair with the brand i know the brushes are 4.99 and 5.99 or whatever the the much cheaper but on the other spectrum of that i have bought some brushes from other brands that are much cheaper like crown brushes i own crown brushes that i've gotten from outlook before those don't come unglued like i said i bought brushes within that same price range and that particular thing about it coming unglued has not happened to them now another issue that a lot of people are having with the brushes it's the fact that they're shedding honestly i can tell you guys i have not gotten a lot of shedding from my morphe brushes just the regular amount of shedding like one or two hairs here and there but i haven't gotten an obscene amount of shedding either um so that's not an issue that I can talk to you guys about. I feel like I've tried enough brushes from Morphe and I have two more that are actually loose like that that I just didn't have time to get for you guys but I feel like it's a fundamental issue with their face brushes. So. Now with the influencers I understand that sometimes there's fluke. Sometimes you get a good brush, sometimes you get a bad brush but that's four to five brushes that I've gotten from the same company that have all done the same thing so that's not a fluke anymore. That's just like a thing. It's a thing. So for the people who are raving so much about it I'm thinking Thinking, there's no way none of your face brushes have come unglued there's no way if I have four or five of different brushes that I've gotten at different times that have unglued there's no way you have a whole set of however many brushes they send you every month and none of them have come unglued. Personally, I don't purchase on Morphe anymore because I no longer purchase from any website that carries Jeffree Star. That is a totally personal decision. That is not something that you have to do. We're not gonna discuss, oh, he apologized and all of that. It's not for discussion. I'm not telling you what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not purchasing from any site that still carries Jeffree Star. I choose a not, not to give my money to them. So those are my thoughts on there. Use your common sense before you purchase anything. Don't go out there and spend your hard earned sweat, work to the bone, money. Do your research 
watch the small YouTuber, and that's just not because I'm a small YouTuber. I just feel like the small YouTubers have nothing to lose. <laughs> they just tell you how it is because they have nothing to lose. So yeah, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you ever ordered anything from Morphe and what was your experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.